Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. Now wait for the first note of the music. Now I go up and left. There's pretty much no other way to enter Narsh because of how painfully it's laid out. I mean I guess I might be able to run into the uh, entrance arc and then start left and up and, and get somewhere from there, but this is far cleaner, really. Right and up. That's not a chest, it's a door because Locke's unlocking it. Into the door. And now I run right into the chair here. So pretty much what I'm doing in this mini segment anyway is getting the Paladin Shield and the, well, Curse Shield at this point, and the Ragnarok, which will be an Illumina around the chair. Which are two very powerful things that I really probably will want to have on me. So, they're not things that I'm just going to throw under the bus here. And, yeah, I've gone way far enough there. Down the staircase, down and right. Cur uncursing the curse shield will be a bit of a pain, but I won't won't be velt I won't be using the velt for that. I'll be going to Solitary Island and murdering things quickly there because they only give like one exp if I have a team of four. So that actually even gives me a handy counter for how many battles I've fought. So I just need to walk back and forth, let the enemies die on their own. And nobody should gain a level as long as I don't bring the wrong characters. I just need to bring characters who have a threshold of 255 or less, and I have no other forced EXP in the game. So, the stream I can pretty much just back out the same way I came in. So, once I run up to the top of the staircase, around the railing. And then I go around the wall. Left and down until I go out here. So the Paladin Shield and Cursing will probably still be annoying, but it won't be nearly as bad as grinding it up on the Velt, which would take me ages in this playthrough because I don't I can't really pick and choose what I do most of the time. Right? Just get myself nice lined up here and then the rest of it's a breeze. Up to the pot. Now I go left and down. The Illumina, on the other hand, is pretty much no frills attached. I just get to bet it, the Ragnarok at the Colosseum, and that's a piece of cake. And then I have the ultimate weapon in the game. So much magic evasion. <laughs> Seriously, that's the only like really good thing about the Illumina most of the time, is that a magic evasion. But boy, does that help out. Alright, so I should reach the bottom left here. Run up into the boiler, that's not very far. Run right into the wall. Unfortunately, just running right bring happens to line me up with that gap that would bring me out of the town, and I don't want to do that. There we go. Second door unlocked. Now I just go in. The weapon shop is a big C again, except this time it's like rotated 90 degrees clockwise. These C's are all over the place and they're just in all sorts of random directions. Should really standardize their alphabet here. Left, down. Thankfully, this room is little and tiny and stuff, so. Hello, weapon shop guy. Now I have to be very careful because I do not want to select the Magicite by mistake. That would not benefit me at all, unlike the sword. So wait for the noise. There we go. Alright, so the noise stopped. I've ran a weapon shop for 70 years, but this stone is giving off an eerie aura and I've never seen anything like it or something like that, I don't know. 
you want, I could make it into a sword or I could leave it as it is. Which do you want? Uh, I've got two choices. I could leave it as the stone or I could down, choose the sword. Now he just says right. And hopefully I really did do that right or this is going to be a restart. There we go, I reached the door. Up, and now I pretty much just have to exit the weapon shop at this point. Because I can just warp out of town after that, but you can't warp out inside a shop, that's no good. So, all the way to the left. Back out two, and leave. Warp stones are worth pretty much nothing, so... Alright, so I have the airship here, so let's just take the blindfold off and make sure I did that correctly. And I have a Ragnarok, soon to be an Illumina, but of course, that's going to be the next mini-segment here, so let's just fly to the Coliseum. Not quite ready yet, just want to make sure I have all my ducks in a row before I try this. See you next time. Well, not really. Why do I keep saying that? It's not even the end of a mini. It's not even the end of an episode here. Yep, let's try this again. It's pretty much just all luck. Well, I mean, beyond what I was able to deal with myself. But as long as Mog just goes to town and uses an instant death attack. That didn't work this time around. But Mog did decide not to do anything either, so, you know. Nope, that's no good. Let's take another go with this. Alright, Mog. That's not useful, but it's not a loss yet. It's a loss if he uses Plasma or Wind Slash or something from one of the useless ones. Desert Araya... Desert Araya is fine because it's got Antlion. Dusk Requiem is fine because it's got Snare. Lovsana does got Snare. Water Rondo and uh, Wind Rhapsody are both uh, duds. That cockatrice isn't doing a whole lot for me, so... Oh, that's not good. Sunbath means it's either Wind Rhapsody or Earth Blues. Alright. Use one of the dances that'll work. That's not a dance, so I don't really care. That's Wind Slash. She runs himself out of MP, I don't even really need to defeat him, like, with an uh, instant death attack, but. It'll take forever to do it that way, so I'm just gonna keep restarting until I get one. Oh wait, uh... I don't remember. Desert Rai can't use Wind Slash, can it? So... I guess it's kinda pointless. Alright, Mog, if you'd stop using Wind Rhapsody... I didn't use blaster, so it's okay.
good. Caven. That means he's using, uh... Dusk Requiem, which means that as long as he doesn't blaster me, he's gonna die eventually. That's... Snare, so... Yep, it worked. And I am now the proud owner of a new Illumina. So let's just walk out of here. I must have been on the save menu already. That's the end of that segment. Well, not really, because I've still got one more tiny little thing to do first. Alright then. Let's finally snag that last character. Who I've, uh, kind of just left out of my party for a while now. But... Ever since I went to Ezer's house, he was on the table at any moment. Very easy to get to, and I pretty much just gotta walk in and walk out, and then I have all the characters in my party. So I guess that's a good way to end this cleanup episode. I still want to fight all the bosses and get all the magicites, so gotta go. I'm going to Cyan's Dream, going to. Uh, I'm going to the ancient castle, maybe Ebbets Rock. I mean, there isn't a Magicite there, and Strago's ultimate lore is going to be totally worthless, but let's go. See you next time. Well, I guess I didn't test that one thoroughly enough. It doesn't make a difference, though, because this is pretty short. Turns out, uh, the thief can stop walking against you, like he's trying to move left, when he can only move, move right, and sometimes he'll get stuck, but sometimes he'll just walk back to the other side, so there must be some randomness in his, uh, patterns there. So... Uh... Brighten up from here. So I've got to take a slightly lengthier route out to make sure that everything goes to plan, but... But yeah, this guy isn't walking around like an ordinary NPC would. He's, total he's scripted a little bit more than that, which is what messed me up. To the left to the top. I just mash A until I get the Seraphim Magicite. Now getting out is the part that messed me up last time. So I walk all the way back out to the left and now it doesn't matter where I was when I talked to him because now I'm going to be on the street to the right left side. So now I just go down and right. It doesn't bring me to a great position but how do you do the rest of the route, so... Left. Down to the guy. Left again to the side of the building. Down to the top of the staircase. One, two, three. Now I descend the staircase. Well, I already descended the staircase, now I descend from the staircase. Right one, down and out. There we go. That was what was supposed to happen earlier. Not sure whether to say see you next time or not. There might be one more thing in this segment.